There's this crow outside my window, and he's got like a nut. He's like, bam, 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 nut. And he keeps like picking it up and dropping it. Damn, crows be cool. Halloween is like just around the corner. Like, well, what are we in, September? <gasps> There's that crow. Oh, I have to show you this. Yeah, pound that nut. Get it, get in there. Oh yeah, he's getting in there. He, crows are clever, frightening creatures. Hopefully it's not too like off center from where it was. Now that you saw that cool crow, right? Crows are neat, they're badass. So Marty McFly's hoverboard from Back to the Future is what I had done next. A couple people have requested it, but like not a whole lot, but it was enough that I was like, mm, okay. So we did it. It cost me absolutely nothing. I had everything at home. You cannot stand on it. No, it will not hover. If you stand on it, well, I mean, you probably could stand on it, but you potentially break it. It's not sturdy enough for standing, seeing that these are plastic. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel to see cool videos like this one. Right? Right. And uh, don't hesitate to request because I do love reading the comments and love seeing the requests um, because there's a lot of really good ideas in there. It just comes down to time and what I feel inspired to do. And this just happened to be one. Anyway, have a good night and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye. I couldn't really figure out what kind of base I wanted to use for this and I really didn't want to use wood because wood takes so long to cut, especially if you don't have the tools and stuff and I have to use a handsaw. So, I used wood. It ended up coming down to wood. And then this is foam board that I'm sandwiching in it with, just to make it a little bit thicker. And then I'm gluing it together with wood glue. And then you can see me there sanding off the edges, just to kind of bevel it to make it look like it's all one piece. And then you're gonna coat the whole thing in a wood glue again, just to give it a fill. So when you paint it, it doesn't absorb too much into that foam board. It had a nice layer of like, paper on it so I think it would have been fine either way but that's a choice you can make this is uh what's it called spackle or putty and that's just to cover in the crack as well and then I sanded that down and I put down a base coat of white acrylic it's just a cheap dollar store white acrylic just to give it a little bit uh more of a base so when I paint on the pink it can stick a little bit better or kind of show up a little bit better it's a primer that's what it is so the pink that I used to isn't quite the pink I think that you would see on the actual hoverboard from the the show the problem was is I didn't want to go out and buy another paint color so I just used what I had and unfortunately it was kind of more of like this glossy pearl pink but I'm happy with it in the end anyway because it's still a nice color pink and it's very modern and it helped with the other stuff kind of fluorescently showing up when I paint on the stripes and whatnot I drew the whole thing on by hand with a ruler and a pencil, and then it's, uh, oh, where am I going with this? A ruler and a pencil. And then you're gonna paint, obviously, in those lines of the ruler and the pencil, and you can erase the pencil afterwards, so don't worry about messing that up. And I just used a picture I found online for reference. The painting took the longest, so if this is kind of boring for you, you can fast forward ahead, but... For the most part, it's self-explanatory. I just painted in exactly what I saw on the reference photo, which there was multiple reference photos to kind of choose from, but this is kind of the one that I liked best, I guess. So this fluorescent, fluorescent color that I'm painting for the stripes was actually the color I wanted to paint for the body, but it was so thin that it, I had to use like 50 coats just to do those two stripes for them to look somewhat solid and not translucent. So I guess if I used a better color, or kind of paint like a better brand you could probably get use spray paint that probably would have worked best but for the most part that's what I had and I tried to do all inexpensive things that I just had at home and that's what it was this part here was kind of one of those things that I'm like I don't know if I really want to do this it's gonna take forever but then I decided to like give it a try and see what it looked like and I was like ah that looks so cool I'm gonna keep doing it so I did the whole board like this. These are little H's. Eventually I ditched the ruler because the ruler took too much time and I didn't care if it was a little bit crooked. But all these little H's, I just kind of winged what I thought would be an easier design to put on. And then you're just doing the whole thing in it, as you can see. And then taking a little bit of pink paint and I just kind of put a glob in between like either the top portion and the bottom portion of the H. Once you look at it as the big picture, you can't even tell. It looks just beautiful.
So for this part, the back part, I decided that I was going to tape on the, the tape lines. The lines? The tape line? Tape? The tape line? You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying. I decided I was going to tape the back before I painted it and it was that much easier. So if you do the front side taped, I'm sure it will save you a lot of time and a headache like it did for me. So for the bottom pieces, I actually used um, fun foam and takeout food containers. The takeout food containers, I used three lids, two of them painted silver, one of them painted green, and then I cut the lip off the green one for the front side, but you'll see when I flip it over. So with the fun foam, I just kind of used a photo reference from the internet to see what kind of shapes I wanted to do, and then laid it all out, doubled it up, and was ready to stick it on. Obviously just hot glued on like you would think it would be. Also, there is another piece on the back side that's like a thicker kind of pad piece, the purple piece. I use fun foam as well for this and just use four or five pieces and glued them together and then cut out the shape that I needed. You can also use thicker foam for this, but I didn't have any, so I just used the fun foam. Really after that, the painting is just, you know, dry brushing where you want to make it look a little bit more rustic and using the colors that you're using from your reference photo. There's that green lid that I was talking about that I flipped and used on the other side. And then I just used some painter's tape. You can paint that on, but I used painter's tape to get the green stripe and then a little bit of felt for the handle. And that was about it. Everything was looking pretty nice from now on. Oh, uh, what else did I do here? Sorry, I'm hesitating because my computer system is really terrible and I can't see it as I'm talking. So I'm kind of guessing at this point. Oh, I screwed it in. I used screws to put into the back. You don't have to do this, but this was something that I thought made it look a little bit more like industrial. And I just used a couple screws and just screwed them in. Don't push them in all the way because obviously it, you're not going to screw through foam and then it'll just come through the other side. So yeah, that's what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you have any comments, for sure comment in the comment section and give this a big old like and thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe, which I think I already said, but I'm not going to edit it out because like I said, my computer is not really cooperating with me today. But have a great day and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye!